these little band saws are great um, especially for what you pay for them there's one thing that's uh, always kind of irritated me about it and it's that you can't you you can't cut the last little bit of material um, let me show you what I'm talking about when you're trying to plant something short in there this is about a good inch away from your blade so you know you, you always want to clamp something in you know at least an inch or so in here so you can't cut just the last little bit off of something <clears throat> so what i'm going to do i'm going to extend this this fence out to the blade and i'm going to extend this one this one out so that i can support it right out here against the blade I had this piece of stock laying around and I've cut off one end and then I've cut off eight and a half inches which is what I need to um, extend that out. This is a half inch which is way thicker than what I need. Quarter inch probably would have done just fine but uh, this is what I have laying around. So I'm going to get two, two pieces of this cut and uh, then I've got to dress up this edge where it was um, cut. This is just some scrap that I bought and it had been cut with an oxy acetylene torch so um, let me get this other one cut and then get this cleaned up let's get the st cut started you can hear the bandsaw in the background still cutting that that other piece off I'm gonna go ahead and get this one cleaned up not perfect but it will suit our purposes I'll just take a wire brush and knock the biggest part of that rust off just kind of get a smooth surface I got my two pieces cut <clears throat> and I need to kind of figure out basically where I want them I do want a little bit of a gap between my blade and the end here so that chips can get past there. All right, that's pretty good for that one. This one is, if you run this piece too far forward, this will run into it. So I want to keep it back a little bit. And I'm going to mark that on both ends. Okay, then... Uh, you can still okay, you can still come that way. Okay, now I need to figure out where I want to put. Okay, so anywhere in there is a good place for a bolt, and in here is a good place. And then we'll probably like right here and right there. Okay, that gives me a place to get uh, to kind of start on where to put the bolts. Okay, since we're over here, I figured I might as well go ahead and buzz these off a little bit. Clean them up, clean the tops up. Let's see what that'll do. Okay, I got this one in here, and I uh, took the grinder and cleaned a little bit of the mill scale off of here to try to kind of save my cutters. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. I've got it set pretty much halfway, top to bottom. Now I'm just lining these up. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drill this one. This is the bolt holes to hold it to the uh, other jaws that are already in there. drill bit. I got our end mill in there and what this it's a three-quarter end mill and I'm gonna hold this these uh, plates on with some quarter inch bolts I'm gonna do my hole here three-quarters so I can tighten these with a socket wrench so I'm gonna bring it down and just until I touch and then lock my quill come down here and set my knee to zero and I want to bring these up 225 thousand Okay. I'm gonna get you in here where you can see. There's the holes that we cut. All right. Next, we'll go back over to the bandsaw and mark where the holes go. I almost forgot. I got one more thing I want to do over here. Um, I want to tap a hole so I can put a bolt on this end. You'll see why when I get it back over to the bandsaw. No oil on there. Fluid on here. 
just kind of lightly feeding with the quill to keep it tight. Okay, now we've got to mark, mark these holes. Let's see here. Alright, let me bring this down, make, make sure I get it in just the right place. Okay, so I want it, I think, right about, right about there. This one. Make sure I got good marks. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to mark this one. Put right about there. This should be interesting. I think I moved it, so make sure I get mine back up. Okay, that's back. Okay, take these over to the mill and draw them out. Okay, I'm back. I got them. Got them cut out or drilled out. Okay, where's this other one? It slide in there nicely. Let me get a square on that. I don't want to move. It's not just real flat over here. All right, we'll pretend that's good. Check it this way. Let's see what we got. I see that's totally different. I wonder which one's right. I'm guessing this one. Ugh. This is painful. Okay, so off that front fence, that is straight. Which I'm guessing is probably the closest. We can have to check it with the blade later. Okay, and now we tap this hole back here because let's say we want to clamp. Uh, let me grab something here. Okay, so let's say we want to we want to cut a little piece off of this little jewel. Okay. Well, when you go to clamp it up, it ain't gonna clamp up. So, we now screw this in here. Sure, that's not going to hit that. Yeah, it needs to come back just a little bit, which gives us better placement back here for that bolt. But now, when we tighten it up, we get some good clamping action. 
and we can drop that down and look we can cut that piece that's like two inches we can cut it right in half now if we want to do that so i think that's going to work great With these new jaws, I can even split that piece that's just about three quarters in diameter. I even had to put a little, put a piece of wood under it to support it because it was going to fall down in the slot. But it'll hold it and it'll cut it. 